I've added some more bits on here. So I've got press left and up and down and release left and up and down. Exactly the same. So my original press right made him move right at speed five. Obviously when I press left, I want him to move left at speed five. And when I release left, I want him to stop at zero. Let's test that out. So if I press play, comes up, right arrow moves him right, left arrow moves him left, down arrow moves him down, and the up arrow moves him up. However, there's a problem, which is that he's not facing the direction he's going. So since the, he's moving forward, and then it looks like he's moving backwards rather than he's moving left, and he seems to be elevating and then going down in a lift. What we'd like is the Pac-Man to point in the direction he's going in. That's fairly easy to do. What I don't need to do is I don't need to redraw the Pac-Man. Okay, I can rely on editing because it's the same shape. And the Pac-Man itself is always the Pac-Man. All the changes is which picture we use on the screen. So if I duplicate here, okay, so I've got exactly the same thing, except this is now Pac-Man facing left so I should hopefully spell correctly. So Pac-Man facing left. And I'm going to edit the sprite and transform. And this time I want to rotate him. So I want to rotate him in the opposite direction. So if I drag this along. And the number I'm after here is 180. And that points him in exactly the opposite direction. Okay. Click OK. And click onto there. And now I've got a Pac-Man facing left and a Pac-Man facing right. Again, right mouse click and duplicate. This one's going to be Pac-Man facing up. I want to edit the sprite and transform and rotate. And this time I want him to be pointing upwards, which is there. And again, that's around about 90 is the number I'm looking for. And click Okay, I've now got right, left, and up. So finally, duplicate, I've got Pac-Man facing down. And it is worth putting these names in. If you just got them all called Sprite 1, 2, 3, 4, what you're expecting is that you'll be able to remember what all of the different ones are. So again, I want to rotate that one to downwards. And again, that's about 180 downwards. Okay, depending on which one I started with. So I started with the down and click OK. So now, instead of having one image for Pac-Man, I've got four. But the object at the moment has still only got the one image on it. That's fine. Okay. We need to pick an image we start with. And I'm going to pick as an image. I'm going to pick Pac-Man facing right. But when he's moving left, what I want him to do is I want him to change from the Pac-Man facing right. I want him to change to Pac-Man facing left. I want to change the sprite. So when I press the left button, I want to change the sprite. So if I go on to here, okay, change sprite. Okay. So... What I wanted to do is change to Pac-Man facing left. So whenever the left button is pressed, it's going to change from Pac-Man facing right. Well, it's going to change from whatever it was before, because it doesn't matter what it was before. It's going to change it to Pac-Man facing left. Let's have a play. So it comes up with the default image, the first image I told it, which is it facing right. So if I go right, nothing happens. If I go left, it now points the other way. Now, of course, if I go back right, it's still facing left because I haven't told it to change direction. So on each one of these, so on up, I want to change it to Pac-Man facing up. On right, I want to change it to Pac-Man facing right. 
and on down I want to change it to Pac-Man facing down now when he stops I don't want him to change direction whatever whatever direction he was moving in when he stops I want him to stop facing that direction so I don't need to put anything on the release buttons okay click OK I'm going through those and play and what I should have now is a character who when I press the right key moves right when I let go of it stops when I press the down key he goes down up so now I've got a character who goes around the screen and points in the direction I want him to go in 